My name is uh, Pascal Mugigi. I'm uh, from United States, from Michigan. We are here in uh, Republic Democratic of Congo, where we just came to see Mapendo Foundation. And uh, they have a nice house, beautiful house, for the orphans and uh, widows. And uh, we just come here to see what the widows and those orphans, they are doing in this area. This is Minembwe, which is South Kivu in Republic Democratic of Congo. Let me ask uh, Mapendo. She's going to tell us when did she started this foundation and what this foundation is doing. Okay. When did you come here and when did you start this foundation? I came here 2017. It was to bury my brother. And that day I had an idea. I thought it was not just to bury my brother because he passed away. There is something as a widow, as a survivor from a genocide in 1998, I can make difference between other widows and orphans like me. Okay, that's when you started. Okay, what, what was your vision here in Minembwe? Uh, the vision is to change the mindset. Number one, the most vulnerable victim, they are women. Women, they don't have privilege to be able, educated. And most of them, they lost their husband because of war. Government, including other militia, they kill our husbands, including mine, for no reason because of who we are. So who can help us? We can help ourselves. And this is in my homeland. This is in my village. This is where I was born. This is in my country, original. So I can make difference, even though little difference. That's why we oh, are here. OK. Uh, as you said, what can you help these widows and this orphanage? It may be, it can be the education. It can be the, to learn some uh, uh, career which can help them, for example, like a sewing machine, cooking, all those skills. What do you want to help them? Uh, according for the widows, most of them, they don't have a skills. Okay. Any skills can go with this area. Okay. Sometimes I think a sewing machine can mm -hmm. be one and make the soap because they don't have uh, opportunities to go to the where they can get the soap, or the, oh, the salt. Okay, they can make themselves the, themselves, soap, the soap, washing clothes, washing dishes. Mm. Okay. And they're sewing their own machine, uh, their own clothes, mm. even a uniform for okay. their children. So, and also they can have the opportunity to learn how to cook. Uh -huh. So when people come to this country, you know, even a visitor, they can cook so they can have a job. Okay. So it's a job opportunity, so they can take care of themselves. And uh, I want to thank the people who supported this cause and this vision, including Abigail Disney. This is Rosa Mapendo Foundation, started in 2013. Finally, the dream come true, I am in my village. Please, everyone who can make a difference, here we are. This is a country of opportunity. Friends, there is a younger girls who are going to be married in a 13 age. Even 14, 13, 13 yes. 13? That's kind 14. of a violation, by the this way. This is, is, is a violation. Yeah, yes, that's, this a, is the abuse. that's a violation. They are abusing women. So Rosa Mapendo Foundation have a plan to make a school for the younger girls who are lost their husband even have an opportunity to be able to educate like everybody. Thank you so much, uh, Rosa Mapendo. We really appreciate what you're doing here in this uh, area of Mnembwe, which is uh, uh, South Kivu, that's the uh, Republic Democratic of Congo, where we are. And uh, we also appreciate those people who, appreciate all who support this foundation to help our community because this is our motherland, this is where we came from. 
Thank you and have a nice day. Bye. Yeah, we wish you the best. I want to say hello to Lana, Abigail, and everyone from my, my people also who supported this cause. I went to many churches telling them what can we do in our country. They support this cause. As I said, is pushing the elephant together. <laughs> All together, we can make difference. God bless you, and we wish you the best.